Yeah, hi there, this is Elisha and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually work out problems that have to do with trigonometry, findings and known sides of an unright angle triangle, finding angles of an unright angle triangle using the rule that we call the cosine law. So now, here's the thing. The cosine law rule says that for any obtuse angle to triangle, which may have the vertices A, B, C, the cosine law rule says that S squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So now, we may actually look at this triangle which is here with vertices A, B, and C. So now this side which is opposite, this vertex B is called side B. That one opposite vertex A is side A. And this one is side C. So now if you ask to find any of the unknown sides, if let's say you ask to find side A, you simply need to make use of this formula here. If you've been asked to find side B, then we'll actually change that. We'll say B squared. We're starting with the side whose value or whose dimension we want to determine. B squared is equal to. We'll pick on the other two sides. The, one, the other two sides are A squared plus C squared minus then these two, that would be two times these two sides, AC cos the angle of uh, this, this vertex, that is cos B. So this one actually is related to this side. What if they say uh, find side C? So we say C squared is equal to the other two sides a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos to be cos c, the angle c. Okay, so now since you've known how you can actually uh, formulate that equation, let's see the alternative form in which you can actually write this equation. Mostly, we make use of this equation we want, when we want or when we've been asked to determine the unknown side. What if they want you to find an angle, like the question that we have? So if you've been asked to find an angle, we can actually manipulate that equation. Let me show you. We do this. So I'm going to write it the way it is. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So I'm going to move this to on the other side. If, if I want, I can say... I'll bring in the additive inverses. That will be negative b squared, negative b squared. So this side will also be the same. So that will be a squared minus b squared, then minus c squared, which is equal to, what will remain this side will be negative 2bc cos a. Our interest is to find an angle, so we need to get rid of this. So this will be negative 2bc, even this side to BC. So that one and that one will cancel and we're going to have cos A. Then this side, so let's say we multiply this throughout by what's on top. We're going to have negative A squared. Negative times negative that will be plus B squared. Negative times negative that will be plus C squared over to BC. So we can actually respect this one. We simply say that's cos A is equal to negative. Okay, we can rewrite that. The one with the negative sign will go to the other end. So that would be B squared plus C squared minus A squared over to BC. Okay, so that is if we've been asked to find angle A. Now, what if we are, we've been asked to find angle B. So uh, I, I, I was actually deriving the formula so that you see where it's coming from. So that you don't just master it. 
you get to know where you have to get it from. So if they want us to find cos B, that is angle B, but of course when you have, you have, you, you, you're looking for an angle, you're going to bring in the cos inverse here, even this side cos inverse. So this and that will go, so we're going to have angle A, which is equal to cos inverse of everything that we have here. That would be B squared plus C squared minus A squared over to BC. Is it that? And then you find the angle. What if they want you to find the angle B? So we're going to say uh, cos B. I'm not, I'm not going to walk through the steps that I've just walked through. This step around, obviously, you know. So, cos B, we know that side B will be minus, right? Then we have the other two sides, that is A and B. So, we're going to write A squared plus C squared minus B squared over 2, then multiply by these two other sides, A, C. What about if they want us to find angle, angle C? We're going to say cos C is equal to, cos C is equal to, uh, we know that the other sides will come first and they will have a positive value. That is uh, A squared plus B squared minus side C squared over Q, then these two sides. A, B. Uh, so as this, you know how to actually come up with these formulae. You can even shout them out. You step them from the head. Then let's go ahead and work out this problem that we have here. So I'm now applying the cosine rule. Okay. So now, let's do this. They're saying the diagram shows a triangular field PQR. Calculate angle QPR. So it's the angle in I mean, This is the angle they want us to determine. How can you determine that angle? So what you do is you say cos P is equal to uh, they did the other two sides. That this is side P, that is side R, that is side Q. So the, these two sides, that would be Q squared plus R squared minus the, the, the side opposite this angle, that is P squared over 2 times these two sides, QR. Okay, so we can plug in the values. We say, if we want, we can actually rewrite this and self define we will need to find the inverse. So here, cos inverse, even that side, cos inverse. So cos inverse and the cos will cancel, and we're going to have angle P, which is equal to cos inverse. Then we can plug in the values of everything. Q is actually 53 squared plus R, that's 64 squared plus uh, P, that's 91, oh, that's, that, that should be minus 91 squared over T, what is Q? What is Q? Q is 53 and then R is 64. So, angle P is equal to, I will simplify everything on the calculator. Simply punch everything on the calculator. So <clears throat> that would be 53 squared plus 64 squared minus 91 squared over 2 times 53 times 64. Uh, so I will need to punch in the the inverse cosine. That is shift cos. Then everything on top there. Everything on top. 
then equal to so the answer here is 101.702509 degrees but when you're dealing with angles just round just round off everything to one decimal place so that would be 101.7 degrees so that angle here that is 101.7 degrees so now what if you've been asked to find the side what we have actually looked at is how you can actually find how you can find an angle when you're given three sides now what if you or you've been asked to find the side which has then been given how do you make use of the cosine rule so let's look at this all right so now let's look at how you can find the unknown side when you've been given two sides and an angle so this is how you go about this what you do is uh, you write the formula take note of the side which hasn't been given so this one is side k the one opposite vertex k this is side b opposite vertex b and it's side p so the one that we need is side k so what we do is this we say k squared is equal to the other two sides which are b squared plus p squared minus 2bp then cos k okay, so from here we can now plug in the values in the equation what is k k hasn't been given so you say k squared is equal to b that is 5 squared plus p that is 3 squared minus 2 b that is 5 p that is 3 then cos angle k that is 110 degrees so k squared is equal to so what i'll do is i'll simply punch everything here on the calculator so we have 5 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 5 times 3 cos 110. So the answer is 42. 44 rather, 0 0.260, 6043. Now, we are not interested in finding k squared. Our interest is to find k. So we need to get rid of the square by finding the square root of both sides of the equation. So now, what is the square root of this answer here? So the square root is actually 6.6528678. On exams, it's always advisable for you to round off the answers to two decimal places. So this one is less than five, so there's no way we are going to increase this one by one. So I'm gonna say that k is equal to 6.65. You check the units there, and the answer is kilometer. Friends, that's how we actually make use of the cosine rule. And that's how we solve for any unknown angle and any unknown sign. So now, how do you tell that the rule that you're going to apply is actually the cosine rule because there's also the sine rule? Which one between the two are you going to apply? So how you know? It's by actually following this. So the cosine rule is actually applied when you're given two angles and the side. It's also applied when given two sides and an included angle or when you're given three sides that's when you apply the course angle well thank you so much for watching in the next video i'm going to show you how you can actually work out the examination questions that is how you can determine the area of a given triangle how you can actually work out the the unknown side and how you can uh, determine the the shortest distance 
from one vertex to the other side. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I happen to post a video, you're the first one to be alerted. Stay blessed.